What's the worst thing you've ever been accused of while being completely innocent? I was accused of destroying a window at school by dropping a rock from a higher floor. Interrogated by the principal, parents were called, friends had to fund the repairs, bullied on the bus, it freaking sucked, found out who it was two years later, but by then nobody cared. Drugs. Shockingly enough, my parents' divorce made me act out at nine years old, and I kept distracting other kids in class. My mom was convinced it was because I was doing drugs and yanked hair out of my head and made me get blood tested. They found nothing, because I was nine years old. I helped a friend of my mother move when I had just turned 18 for no pay. And this lady accused me of stealing one of her guns. I booked it straight to the police department to explain the situation. When she tried to report me, they told her she was crazy. They already spoke to me, and that criminals that steal guns don't go directly to the police. This is tame compared to others in this thread but it's one that has stuck with me for ages. When I was really little around 6, my aunt was babysitting me. My sweet dog was shedding fur. My aunt accused me of cutting her fur. She had me across her knee saying she wouldn't spank me if I admitted it. I was sobbing uncontrollably because I loved my dog. We were the same age and she was like a second mom and would never do that to her. My mom came home not long after and I do remember her being livid. Despite my issues with my mom, she never once laid a hand on me. My mom couldn't believe that her sister never comprehended that animal sheds fur in clumps. I was 14 and had just started to learn how to use a digital camera. The only one I had at the time was my mom's. Sometime after my birthday, the SD card that was my mom's went missing. My dad immediately went to blame me for it and my mom was hoping I didn't do it. After over an hour of interrogating me, we still couldn't find it. Come to find out my mom had put it in her normal place of valuables she keeps it in. I did even get a freaking apology at it, spelling. In third grade one walked to a convenience store with two dollars and spent 20 minutes trying to decide what candy to get picking things up and putting them back. The old lady clerk accused me of stealing and said to never come back. That was a bit problematic given it was the only gas station in my small town. And I've moved back and been living here for the last 15 years. Posted this before, but seemed relevant. I was fighting with my brother. Realized the fight was dumb so I just went to my room. My brother decided to punch himself and blame me. My mom is yelling at me and grounding me. I can't believe you did that to your brother. Blah blah blah, so I figured if I was about to get in trouble for it I should actually do it. I turned around and actually clocked my brother in the face to which he responded, I can't believe she actually did that and my mom realized he had been lying. I ended up not getting in trouble. Probably kicking my young son. I was carrying something like hot tea or soup and he went to grab me. So I put my knee out to stop him getting close to me and scalding himself. But for some reason, everyone else in the room thought I kicked him or kneed him. Very strange situation. I was carrying something like hot tea or soup and he went to grab me. When I was 16, I was riding with a friend back to another friend's house and the cops pulled him over. I had nothing on me. He, unbeknownst to me, threw a bag of coke underneath my chair. Cops found it, put us both in jail, took him to county, 17 yo, took me to juvie, 16 yo, he got out before me and hired a lawyer, pinned it on me through family connections, got the charges reduced from a felony to a misdemeanor cause I was a good kid and it showed, ruined my life for a good 5 years, just heard that the kid all grown up broke into his ex GF's house to steal drugs and is pretty much a burnout loser. I'm applying for La School next spring. I was riding with a friend back to another friend's house and the cops pulled him over. I had nothing on pedophilia, 
but um only because the person is legitimately crazy and thinks the only reason a male would become a teacher is because they are into kids. But um only because I was accused of plotting to shoot at my high school. Guess that's what I- I was like six or seven and my family took us to this big house party hosted at our pastor's house. Well, there were some bars there along some stairs like part of the handle going up. What's the worst thing you've ever been accused of while being completely innocent? I was accused of destroying a window at school by dropping a rock from a higher floor. Interrogated by the principal, parents were called, friends had to fund the repairs, bullied on the bus. It freaking sucked. Found out who it was two years later. But by then nobody cared. Drugs. Shockingly enough, my parents' divorce made me act out at nine years old, and I kept distracting other kids in class. My mom was convinced it was because I was doing drugs and yanked hair out of my head and made me get blood tested. They found nothing, because I was nine years old. I helped a friend of my mother move when I had just turned 18 for no pay. And this lady accused me of stealing one of her guns. I booked it straight to the police department to explain the situation. When she tried to report me, they told her she was crazy. They already spoke to me, and that criminals that steal guns don't go directly to the police. This is tame compared to others in this thread but it's one that has stuck with me for ages. When I was really little around 6, my aunt was babysitting me. My sweet dog was shedding fur. My aunt accused me of cutting her fur. She had me across her knee saying she wouldn't spank me if I admitted it. 